Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room. Today I'm going to be making a pretty simple little craft using all Dollar Tree um, supplies on this white egg from the Dollar Tree and a window cling and some hair bows. So it's going to be really simple. We're probably going to use a little bit of Waverly Antique Wax, all the things. And I am just going to get set up here for painting and then we will do all the things. So we are doing a big craft today. I broke the arm off my glasses yesterday. So I am getting some... I am getting my glasses fixed and uh, I tried on some of my other glasses but they are so old I, I'm ter terrible about I probably go I probably average every three years when I know I should go to the eye doctor every year but anyway that's what I'm doing I'm doing a big craft they don't have any glasses today so first thing we're going to do is just take our butt big bunny we're going to be using the big bunny off of our window cling backing there and I can't put it anywhere I'm like crowded here today and then I'm just going to start placing it to see where it's going to fit but we are going to mod podge this bunny because he barely barely fits and that's what it's going to look like. So let's get our, our um, parchment paper out. I'm going to cut this little tag off. I'm going to try to keep the jute on. Um, you know what? No, it's just a pain in the butt. Let's just take that right off. There's more jute where that came from, right? I hope everybody is doing well today. I know it's a beautiful day in Florida. I am um, gonna use some matte Mod Podge, but any Mod Podge will do. And I am just gonna put our bunny on with a little bit of Mod Podge. So, I'm gonna just put the Mod Podge right on the bunny. I'm gonna do um, yeah so I was thinking it's really really warm and I was thinking about maybe today would be a good day for me to go to the pool for the first time of the year this season um, our pool is open all year round and it is heated however um, you know, uh, I'm not hot in the winter here, so most of the time I go to the pool in the spring and the summer. So let's take the egg out of here and let's put them on our parchment paper and let's just give this bunny a little coat of Mod Podge just to help him stick to our wood a little bit. And really, less is more. I say that all the time, especially when you're dealing with paper. This is not paper, but um, it's kind of the same thing. It's a very thin film, and we don't want wrinkles in it. So make sure you get all your edges. The edges are the most important. And then we're just going to put that right down on our egg very carefully. He barely fits, so we're just going to put him on right where he fits. You do have a few minutes to work with this bunny because he is made of plastic. Oh, let's see here. I think my bunny is on crooked, so I'm just going to take him back up, straighten him out. A little bit and put him back down cute his ear is hanging off just a little tiny bit so let's take our little um, Dollar Tree scraper and we're going to just smooth out any wrinkles he needs a little more Mod Podge under this ear I can see it's not sticking so we're just going to fold it back and put a little more on. 
I just didn't want it all over the wood. All right, and we're gonna just finish smoothing out our bunny. So he is nice and smooth. And then we have a little tiny overhang that I'm just gonna snip off. Not even gonna notice. Not even gonna notice. And there's a little tiny overhang here at the bottom on its foot as well. But, all right. Now what I wanna do, oh, and I made myself a Dunkin' Donuts frozen coffee today in my magic bullet. And I even have whipped cream on top. So um, I'll have to bring this recipe to you if you like um, Dunkin' Donuts frozen coffee. I use cold brew and I put it in a Dollar Tree ice cube maker, I mean ice cube tray and freeze it and then I put it in my magic bullet. So we are going to use some of our antique wax from Waverly. That's pretty much a common uh, thing here in Jill's craft room. So let's get a good brush out for that. You don't need a chalk brush. I like the chalk brushes. Sometimes the bristles come out though. I don't know what it is about those because they are really expensive brushes. All right, let's put this back on our parchment paper and we are going to just stick our brush in the cap and then we are going to dab, 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 dab most of it off. You can't see what I'm doing, but you have, if you're, if you're new here, I'm just dabbing off most of the paint so that I have pretty much a dry brush. And I'm going to go with the grain. You'll see there's a grain in the background on this wood that the Dollar Tree already has made beautiful. So I'm just going to drag this brush up very lightly. Can you see? I start with my outside edges. That gives that, oh, I see a little piece that I need to trim. Another little tiny piece of the see-through window cling. So we're dry brushing all the way around the edges and we're just going up and down with our antique wax. And what that does here, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Dab, 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 dab. You want to get most of that brush dry. Most of it off. And then you're going with the grain and you're just going down from the edges and up from the edges as well. And this just gives our little egg a little antique finish that I prefer in my crafts. Not everybody does like this finish. So you, you know, to each his own. I'm just here to inspire you and show you my craft and you can do things the way that you like them. Okay, so here's our, is a little antique. So cute, isn't he cute? It's a great little craft to do when you can't see what you're doing. <laughs> All right, I am going to wipe my hands off with a baby wipe. And um, I ran out, that's why I look a mess today. I ran out early to Optimart to get my glasses fixed and I will go pick them up after this. I luckily have a pair of prescription sunglasses for driving. <laughs> so that's what I wore, but okay. So here's our little, now we need to put either our old jute or let's see, I think we're gonna add beads. We love to add beads around here. So let's find a new string and I'm gonna just put you on pause for a moment while I get the beads out. I just love a beaded hanger. Sometimes I overdo my beaded hanger and everything has a beaded hanger, but this thing is just so colorful. I think some colorful beads are definitely in order.
Okay, so I am going to be using some beads that I got at Walmart at Christmas time, but you can use beads from the Dollar Tree as well. So this whole project could be done um, using just Dollar Tree products. Um, so I am just going to be mixing in some of the natural beads with my colored beads. So let's just get some beads off of the string here. So I'm just going to tie a knot in one end. And this is a leftover piece of jute that I haven't even measured the size. Alright, now. I am just going to put a little tiny bit of glue on the end of my jute. I do have a new bead, a beater too. I should have got that out. This is going to be quick. So I think I will start with yellow. I'm going to start with the yellow bead. Oh wait, let me put my jute through the back here. that we might have to make a better a little bit bigger knot just just to for safekeeping right oh no that's not gonna work hold on I did that wrong do it this way make that big that knot just a little bit bigger so it doesn't come through the hole there yeah you can even give that a little zhuzh of glue all right so then I'm gonna start with my yellow bead and then I'm going to do three natural. One. Whoop, two. That, and another natural. And then I'm going to go with a pink. And then three more natural. And the beater that I have is from my sister. She sent it to me in happy mail. And I put it in with my beads, but I, um, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna do a green one next. And then I guess I will do three more natural. We'll do three more natural at the top. Um, I will, I should have grabbed it because it's kind of fun. Um, it really beads your things quickly too. All right, so that's what that's gonna look like. Unless we should top it off with maybe one more color. Let's top it off with one, let's see, what do we have here? Let's top it off with another pink, another light pink. just so that it ends with a color bead. And then we are going to just make a loop to hang it. And we are gonna just tie that in a knot. And we're just gonna push that knot all the way down to our beaded or our last little bead. And trim that off. Whoopsie. And then there we have a beaded hanger for our little Easter bunny. But now we're going to put a little bow. And we are just putting a very simple little hair bow. And I couldn't decide whether I wanted to go big or go home. No. <laughs> so, but I decided to go with this little peach or uh, what would you call this color? Not peach, it's not peach. It's more of a mm, kind of a terracotta. I'm just trying to get it off. It's from the Dollar Tree hair section. And um, I don't know, it's a pink, but it's kind of a corally, I guess, pink. Wow, they really have these on this cardboard so that you can't take them out. 
pick them off or steal them maybe from the store. Let's see if we can get this bar right off the container. He has a card. Wow. All right. So this is what it is. Just a bow. Look, it's a bow. And underneath it's got a clip. But we're going to cut that right off. We don't need that clip. So we're going to cut that bow right off underneath the clip. Whoops. It's hard for me to hold the clip open, but it's really not hard. It's just because I'm doing it on camera. All right, let's take that little bow. Okay, so now here, we're gonna glue this back together because it was sticking to a barrette. So we're gonna just stick that bow back before it unwinds on us. Just gluing that back down after I snipped it off from the barrette, which is still cute. <laughs> just has ribbon on it. And now we have an adorable little bow and we're going to just place that little bow right on our little ribbon here. I mean, not ribbon, I'm sorry, right on the bottom of our beaded hanger. And this project will be done. Very simple and easy. I hope you love it. There's so many things you can do with window clings. We could even add some of the eggs that came onto this window cling, you know, around it. But let's see, I don't know how that would look. Let's see, we'd have to go back over it with some antique. Well, let's put a couple of eggs here and see what happens. If I can get them off of the window. See, there would be an egg here. I think we could do that. Use up some of these eggs. An egg here. Maybe put three eggs total. My goodness, these are hard to get off of the window cling paper. That one actually stuck to the paper, that's why. Put a couple of those, or do we like that? I think I like it without the eggs. I think I just, let me see, I think I really just like him by himself. Just classic Easter Bunny. Maybe one with the flowers would be cute. Let's do that, let's try one with the flowers. Right here between his legs, maybe. Let's see how I like that. No, I'm not liking that either. I like him all by himself. He's just too cute. Now, how quick and easy was that? All from the Dollar Tree. Except for my beads, but you could use the beads from the Dollar Tree. So this could all be from the Dollar Tree. How cute. Just a cute little bunny saying hello there all right everybody well i hope that you liked this craft and i know it was a quick and simple easy one but sometimes those are the most fun you just have a few minutes you want to sit down and do something but you don't want to be doing it for an hour or you only have a certain amount of time allotted but <coughs> excuse me this is a great time for you to give me a thumbs up and caring is sharing is caring so go ahead and share this with all your friends and family and social media and until the next time that and don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that YouTube lets you know each and every time I upload a new video, which is usually every day at 7, um, except Sunday. And um, 
So go ahead, share this and do all the things and I really appreciate it. You really are helping my channel grow and until the next time that we see each other, be good and do good. Bye now.